Batman, the video game. And this one, of course, will be based on the absolutely classic 1989 movie starring Michael Keaton, the original Batman, as far as I'm concerned, not including, of course, Adam West. Yes, a great, a great film. Um, still my favourite version of the Joker, I think. Um, and I've never played this game, however I have played the Game Boy version of what I assume this is by Sunsoft, and, and I loved it. So I'm assuming this is very similar, it obviously looks a lot better. Um, nice, clear sprites there, I enjoy the environment and everything, and it's just going to be a side-scrolling beat-em-up, isn't it? And, and that's exactly what we've got by the look of it. Getting a few hits here. I already prefer it to the Adventures of Batman and Robin, which I played way back at the start of this A to Z, and that just goes by the fact that it began with A, obviously. Um, but yeah, it feels nicer to play. I quite like the look of it. It's an early game. It came out in 1990. In Japan, anyway, but actually didn't come out in the UK until 1992, so three years after the movie came out, and actually the year that Batman Returns came out. But yeah, it feels very different to the Game Boy game. I mean, obviously it's more impressive to look at, but it does look similar, you know, side scrolling. In that one, Batman had a uh, sort of, what do they call it? You know, like a claw that you can go up. What am I on about here? Um, you know one of them things you fire up and then you can climb up it. I've forgotten the name of it. Batman always has one. A grappling hook. Way! Yeah. That's what. Not a claw. A grappling hook. But I can't seem to find it if he has one on here. But I mean, it's nothing special, is it? You can clearly see. I've found a strategy that I'm... What's this? I don't know what that thing I just picked up was. I found a strategy that works for me here. Just sit down and kick. Oh, we've got a boss, have we? Yep, we've got a big goon. Fire my batarangs at him. Oh, I've run out, so I'm going to have to get into the fray now. Oh! Reminds me very much of Balrog, the guy I'm fighting. He's all, he's all fists. Yeah, it's not a bad little game, this. It's um, it's nothing exceptional, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's quite fun. Certainly having more fun with it than uh, Barkley Shut Up and Jam. And we've got quite a little run of Batman games, actually. We've got three in a row. Batman, which we're playing today. Batman Forever. And then Batman Returns. And, and I know it's a bit weird because of alphabetical order. I'm playing Batman Forever in the middle of them three films, which is just just crazy talk. But uh, Axis Chemical Factory were in here, so... Oh. I can't... I've got to jump on top. That makes more sense. And them guys are sliding around. Whoa, lasers. Bit more going on in this one. Whoa! But yeah, it's a, it's a fun little game. Okay, how the hell do I get past this? Do I have to climb up there somehow? Oh, I hate stuff like this. <laughs> oh, there's a double jump. Does that do it? The double jump doesn't always work, seemingly. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Oh dear. I hate that. You know when you just get to a point in a game, you're having a bit of fun, and then all of a sudden something comes along, and you're just trapped. Axis Chemical Factory Round 2. Yeah, Sunsoft made quite a few... Um, versions of this from what I gather. I know that obviously as I say I played it on the Game Boy but um, 
it was definitely on I think the NES as well um, I know that that's a very well regarded game the Game Boy game anyway was absolutely fantastic I, I remember being one of the first games I had on the system looking forward to playing that again I think I might have finished it but I ain't finishing this because I cannot overcome this pile of boxes Hell. Oh, this is... This is dreadful. This is simply dreadful. There must be some. I don't understand. I've tried every button. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it is frustrating, because I was really, really enjoying myself quite a bit here, and obviously there's some, there's just some little thing that I don't know how to do, and that's really letting it down for me. I am eternally sorry that I'm not going to get past this, because I don't have a clue how. <laughs> um, one last go, one last go. I'll tell you one game it's very similar to, um is Shinobi, in my opinion. Oh! Oh! Grappling hook, claw mechanism. There we go. That's all it was. You have to press two buttons at once, which was beyond my feeble mind. Hey. Oh, maybe I've got the pipe. Stop sliding into me. There we go. We're cooking on gas. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's very similar to Shinobi and the early Ninja Gaiden games. Um, maybe I'm, I'm seeing that more on this level just because of the crates that you have to climb on, which was a certainly a staple of Shinobi. But yeah, it's a fun little game. It's, it, it's nothing... Nothing amazing. There's far better on the system, but uh, I'm having a good time with it. Especially now that I know how to... Uh, Use my claw. How do I go up? There we go. Okay. I just wish Batman moved a bit quicker. He's very strutty. He kind of walks like uh, he's singing Staying Alive as he does so. Gets on his knees and slowly kicks the guy's shins until he gets incapacitated and drops his rocket launcher. No, he can't go back. I just wonder if there's anything down there. Always with the travelators on these games, weren't there? Always makes me think of Scrap Brain Zone in Sonic. But look how he falls. He's falling whilst kneeling. I mean, that's a skill in itself. But he is Batman. Who is your favourite Batman? Mine has to be Michael Keaton, I think. Val Kilmer was terrible, in my opinion, who replaced him. Christian Bale is a great actor, but I just I never really felt he was he was Batman. He was just a really serious man. Oh, and look, we're dead. There we go. Well, I think we get the gist, and and there's Batman. Batman on the Mega Drive, the original Batman. Um, and it's a fun little game. It's, it's nothing spectacular. Um, but I enjoyed my time with it. And like I say, especially once I understood how to climb. And yeah, a solid little adventure for the system. Um, check it out. <laughs>